Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Mary. Today is Mask Monday, so happy Mask Monday, Mask Monday ladies. And everyone else who decided to do a mask today, happy Mask Monday to you as well. This is a very, very special Mask Monday. It is actually dedicated to bring awareness to autism. And this is a multi-channel collab. The collab has been started by Tracy and Chloe at Tracy and Chloe Unboxing Beauty and More. They are an amazing mother-daughter team. I absolutely love them. Not sure how many years they've had this going on, but this is my first year participating in this multi-channel collab to bring awareness to autism. Uh, the first video that I saw of Tracy, and I think I just feel I have to throw that out there just to kind of give who they are. Tracy and Chloe are a mother-daughter team who do many videos together, including Mask Mondays. They are amazing together. Um, the first video I saw of them was a mother-daughter Mother's Day collab where daughter does the makeup for the mother. That was an amazing interaction. I absolutely loved it. But Tracy, thank you so, so much for inviting me to this collab. I greatly appreciate it. And I'm going to be talking more about experience than research. So I didn't do a lot of research, guys but I have a lot of experience dealing with people with autism. So I'm going to talk about how it's affected me, how I have been able to cope with it, and how I have learned and grown from caring with for someone with autism. So before we get started, I'm going to apply some masks. And I did choose two masks that are blue. Uh, because the color for autism is blue. They may not be the correct shade, but these are the blue that I had. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply them while I kind of talk to you about it a little bit. Uh, some channels will be having giveaways. I'm actually not going to be one of those channels, not this time around. I may change my mind later on in the video, but I will definitely let you know. Um, and these masks are actually a light powder blue. So I am going to be applying them and I love them. And these are by Grace and Stella. Um, I use them a lot, the pink ones and the gold ones as well. Here we go. And I often struggle with getting puffiness down. So what helps me is by putting my masks in the refrigerator it keeps them cool and it helps me to better bring down the, or if that's even a thing, to bring down the puffiness. Here is the next one. Okay. And I probably should have applied them beforehand. I just felt I wanted to do this on camera. I did struggle with my mask, but this is the mask. It is the Creme Shop Retinol Infused Essence Mask. I struggled with it, so I'm cutting it out. So let's go ahead and continue talking about autism. And autism is one of those things that it can affect pretty much anyone. And it is a something that you are born with. It may not be diagnosed immediately. For some people, it's sometimes not ever diagnosed because the severity the severity of it ranges tremendously you can be nonverbal completely low functioning to the highest functioning where you do not even know that that person is autistic um, those are the ranges that I have seen because my experience is what I'm talking about autism about uh, how I have cared for children with autism, the things that I have learned from them and the things that I have seen in them that have made me make many changes to my life because they are simply amazing, caring, loving, trusting little people. And I, you cannot help but love them. Simply said, you cannot help but love them. Despite their circumstances, despite their situations, they walk around with a smile on their face with a positive, okay, that happened, but let's move forward and let's be friends. 
that is what I have gotten from each and every single one of these kids that I have helped with autism or that have autism. There are two moms on here that I absolutely admire and that is Amber Meeks and Tracy. They both have children with autism. Amber Meeks' son is Noah and then we have Tracy's daughter who is Chloe and they do Simply Amazing and they do talk about their children quite often. I have seen many videos with Tracy and Chloe together where they do videos together and I, I find that extremely important for um, for their relationship because it is simply a beautiful relationship, hands down. Uh, but let's go ahead and get back to the kids I care for. I have gone from ranging to very low functioning autistic to the highest functioning autistic and learned from both that or the many ranges, not both, but the many ranges in between that they all possess an extremely, extremely talented quality. For some, it may be educational. For some, it may be artistic. But the two have everything to do with smarts. These children are extremely, extremely smart children. They catch on to things like no other. That is something that I absolutely love about them. They learn at different levels, but when they learn it, it is there and it is there to stay. We had one child, and I'm not naming names, I'm just giving circumstances on how we did, um, but there was one child that she would start drawing circles and triangles and lines and cubes and you name it, she was drawing them in different areas of the paper. But by the time she finished her drawing, she had a masterpiece. She was amazingly, amazingly talented when it came to art. Um, there was another one that had the equal talent, only she took it in a more um, simple way of drawing, but both of them had amazing, amazing art skills. We have also had those that know their multiplication tables at an age that they're not even taught the multiplication tables, but if you toss numbers at them, they pick up on those numbers and they know it. We have those that are not going to stay away from electronics. I don't care what you do and how you do passwords because they will crack codes when you think you've created the most perfect code for them not to access whatever websites. They can crack through them in no time at all. So their very talents still correlate to one very, very important thing. They are smart kids. Most often people categorize them as we don't need to associate with them. They're, they're dumb. That is the most uh, used word when it comes to describing them that I have heard. And it tears me to pieces because it just, it is something that I dislike about the way that they treat autistic kids um, because they're not dumb. I can promise you they are probably smarter than all of us put together. And that is just my opinion on it. Um, there was something that Chloe said that really, really had me thinking. Um, my idea for this collab was actually to do a makeup look. I know it's Mask Monday, but I was actually going to create a makeup look having to do with the puzzle pieces. Chloe said something that stuck to my mind and had me changing my outlook on how autism awareness should be displayed. And she said that autism should not be correlated with the puzzle pieces. For many people, it was the puzzle pieces fitting together. So everyone fitting in with whether they had autism or not, they all fit together. All the puzzle pieces fit together. The way Chloe described it is that to her, it and I'm not going verbatim because I don't remember exactly her words, but she said something to the effect that the puzzle pieces to her mean that autistic children are puzzled. And that brought a whole different level of mind process for me. And I have since started making many more changes when it comes to that. 
because it made sense. For some people, it's all the pieces fitting together. And for other people, it just means that they're even more puzzled. I think they're amazing, amazing kids um, and grown-ups because it does not go away. There is no cure for autism. There is no medication that can make it better. Um, Behavior-wise is the only thing that can be addressed. But other than that, these children are lovable. And they are loving. They give unconditionally. They reward people with hugs and smiles. And by showing you that they trust you. That is one of the biggest things I've learned from them is learn to trust. Learn to trust those around you initially until they show you that they cannot be trusted. Despite that, the children I've cared for, even when their trust is broken, they continue to trust. And that tears up my heart. I'm not going to go further into it. Uh, that is just an experience that I have. Love everyone around you, despite their condition, despite their financial status, their color, anything. That is all that I am going to talk about. Like I said, I did not do research. I just came on to say how it has affected me. Um, like I said, I've made many changes in my life based on what I have learned from autistic children. Because I have learned that life is short, very, very short. And these kids live it to their fullest, fullest capacity. And many of us throw ours away, our lives away. I have learned to appreciate every single thing that comes my way the way that they do. Because they they just love. They're loving. They, they're lovable. And I love that about them. I would not trade my profession for anything in the world because I have learned so much more from them than they have probably learned from me. And that is priceless, absolutely priceless. So treat everyone with kindness, treat everyone with love and appreciation. Learn to trust if you're not a trusting person, because I was not. Learn to trust every single day and until they show you, you cannot, they cannot be trusted. But show trust, show love, show kindness. And that is pretty much all that I have. I do have to get ready for work and just go watch all of the other ladies. They all have different information, experiences as well as researched information. Check all of the channels out throughout the entire month. Uh, you do not have to be subscribed to every single channel for the giveaways. Um, I am going to do a giveaway. Like I mentioned earlier, I was not going to, but I am. I'm going to be giving, like I just mentioned, be giving. So I'm going to go ahead and do a mystery giveaway. And word to use would be unconditional. Because these children show their emotions unconditionally. And I absolutely love that about them. So... Unconditional is the word. Use it in a sentence uh, and get creative with the word. All the rules down below in the description box. Channels will be linked down below in the description box. And that is pretty much all that I have. Thank you all for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay blessed, smile always.